Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Dump, and today from the dump, I pulled together some great BlackBerry 10. I got black, or I got, uh, what is it, a Z10s, Q10s, and even a Q5, and I'm really interested in what I'm seeing here. I definitely saved these things from the dumpster, and I had to find a use for them, and hey, what better use than mining cryptocurrency? You're going to mine some cryptocurrency, Gonna gonna do some dash coins, some narrow transfer it to Bitcoin, and in 2020, I'm gonna get my yacht and I'm gonna retire like every other Bitcoin fanatic out there. Yeah, I'm gonna do it exclusively with BlackBerry. Can you feel the power? So honestly, I gotta say, I couldn't let the Q10s be thrown out. These things are freaking beautiful. I love these things. They're like they're like going back home. Like you got a full keyboard on there. I swear to God, they feel like they're faster than the Z10. Z10s is still pretty good. Gotta give them some love. These days they're still good if you want to, uh, man, I have I have one. I give it to my daughter. She watch Paw Patrol in the back all the time. Um, I use, I, I have used them as GPS's. There's lots of uses you can have for these things. But, of course, since they can use Android uh, programs, they can use uh, MinerGate. Because they can use MinerGate, I'm mining crypto, baby. Look at that beautiful stuff right there. Oh, yeah, I'm rolling in the Satoshi. At least I will be once I convert it. Okay, so, honestly, let's face it. This is not a very desirable way to make Bitcoin, to make cryptocurrency. I'm not going to make a whole lot of money off these things. Should I? No, I probably, I probably, I probably shouldn't. In fact, the energy that it takes to make these, I, I don't care how much it costs me to make this energy. What I care about is the CO2 emissions that will get thrown into, uh, into the atmosphere from pumping out this energy to make this stuff. I know we don't burn coal around here in Canada near Waterloo, but still, still, you got you got to worry about <clears throat> the ecosystem and all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, hey, this is definitely one use for them. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about what's going on here. I got so this is a Q5. I never had a Q5 until I uh, I got this bunch that was headed for the dumpster. And I got to say, I'm really happy with it. I thought the Q5 was exactly half the speed of a Q10, but it is. It's just okay. I'm pretty sure a Q10 is 1.5 gigahertz and that's a 1.2 so there's really not a whole lot of difference i love those things there's they're so cute i couldn't let these things get thrown out but um i'm pretty sure if you combine all of these the power that i could get uh the money i get i'm pretty sure it's about 15 dollars a month once you transfer uh once you transfer the cost again it's probably not worth the cost the price that i'm paying to run these things right now, but geez, this is a lot of fun. And half the thing about uh, about being a hacker, about being a computer guy, is just seeing what you can do, what you have the ability to do with what you got. There's definitely a lot of things you can do with these older phones. It's uh, it's amazing how time flies by. I mean, I remember when these things were first released. I had one day one. I had a Q10. I gotta say, I still love the Q10. As long as you don't care about WhatsApp, as long as you don't care about Skype and all those popular things, then uh, you'll be fine. Unfortunately, if you care about that stuff, you'll have to go to a different platform, get one of the later uh, units. But man, I love the BlackBerry 10. It's just, uh, I really wish that they would have let it use Android apps at release. That would have that would have changed everything, I think. So. Most of these are actually release date phones, and some of them have problems, like the microphone uh, doesn't work on some of them, or the ringer doesn't work on any on other ones, but I'm pretty sure that these got used use on the factory floor. Unfortunately, so, so I can't keep this going because the phones eventually shut themselves down. So this definitely isn't something that I can keep going. It's not something that I can keep running indefinitely. I've tried, none of the phones stay on, none of the phones stay on, regardless of how how fast, how slow, as you can see right here, you can go low, medium, high, that doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot, that doesn't seem to do a whole lot, uh, it doesn't seem to change anything, so ultimately, it's not a very good idea, I've said it before, I'll say it again, it's not a good idea to mine cryptocurrency on a cell phone, you don't really get your money's worth it's just uh, it's just the way it goes unfortunately you don't uh, you don't get the bang for the buck that you should even if you got this dumpster stuff but you know what hey if you don't if you don't pay for hydro 
then maybe go for it. But then again, once again, even if you don't pay for hydro, it takes CO2 to make energy. And uh, yeah, CO2 is not good for the atmosphere and all that stuff. So yeah, let's have a look at what we got. With the Monero, we can usually mine just, or five or just five or six or just under. But check this out. This is the Q5. It's mining about the same as that Z10. Interesting. So you might notice the we got a little bit of something going on here. That one got dipped in Varsol. Come on, ladies, can we get a nicer picture of this? So yeah, I would prefer to mine flat out Bitcoin, but Monero, Dashcoin, those things are going pretty good. I don't particularly like Monero. I find it to be like the blood money uh, of the internet these days. The people who used to be using Bitcoin especially to cover their trails aren't using that so much. Uh, what was it called? The WannaCry virus that came out. The, it came out, you had to give money to get your stuff, your, your files back. Well, hospitals got hit by that because they didn't upgrade to Windows or from Windows XP to Windows 7 or even Vista and because of that people literally died so it was how that connects to Monero is they took their Bitcoin the people that made uh, the WannaCry virus they took their Bitcoin and they changed it into Monero so I get a little bit questionable about Monero but I think I'm gonna do some other videos about cool stuff that you can do with a with a whole bunch of phones you find going to the dumpster this is good stuff. Anyways, that's it for me. Neff from Nev's Tech Dump. Like and subscribe if you like this. I could definitely use more subscribers. We got uh, the YouTube monetization beast breathing down my neck, and I need to get a lot of subscribers shortly. Or else I'm not going to be monetized, and oh my goodness, life is hard. Money makes the world go around, folks. And if you want more crazy videos from the Tech Dump, I need more of those subscribers. So that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Dump. Take care of each other. Take care of each other. I'll catch you later, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.